This is a video showing what a medic in World War II would have worn. Uh, right, starting off are the gaiters. These are cut down gaiters. Uh, the troops uh, after D-Day, they would cut down the gaiters because lacing up gaiters takes a very long time and that's just half the time to do it. These are the boots. I uh, got these in Normandy. They are rough out boots, just general infantry style. Uh, this is a medical helmet with the crosses painted on it. Just steel US Army. Then the Jeep cap which you wear in your head under the helmet just in the colder weather and makes it far more comfortable. Uh, now on to sort of more clothing. This is the shirt you wear underneath this field jacket here. Uh, you can see the dog tags. And then this is my medical armband. Show sure, I'm a medic. Uh, these are the HBT trousers. Uh, they're just the general trousers the guys would have worn in Normandy. And this is the uh, sort of the medical webbing, as you would say. Uh, here's the harness of the yoke. And the medics had two water bottles, one for them and one for the patient. Just canteen in the cup. Medics would have also carried their own first aid tin. This is original uh, late war and uh, they contain just contain really bandage and contain bandage and sulfonilamide there and the story behind sulfonilamide is that it was one of the earliest antiseptic things uh, you just open it up and sprinkle on the wound and it was meant to stop infection but after the war they found out that it could cause infections so it very s suddenly stopped being produced and that was really the end of that uh, this is sort of mess tin. And it comes out in a sort of like frying pan and plate. Then you have your knife, fork and spoon. And then this just goes back together really neatly and just fits really anywhere. Doing the grenade because I thought it was cool. Got that pretty cheaply. Uh, then onto the tent, there are six pool pieces and you fit them together like that, three on each, so you get two poles uh, and then there's the pegs in their original, coming out of their original uh, bags. Then the actual tent half, which the guys would have carried with them uh, there, or that big thing. And you can see in the centre there, US. Uh, then the, the medics themselves would have carried these bags here. And in my next video, I will uh, show you exactly what's in them and what a medic would have had at his aid station. That's just about it. Uh, and as I said, the next video is medics and their aid stations.